When the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. And always keep moving as much as you can. Move. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr., AJ, he made it, but the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done. I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake. But like everything else. It wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked. But I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I fought back. But I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope. I found him. We're searching together now, for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. What you doing there, goofball? 
Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Would you prefer shitbird? <laughs> no. That's mean. You're a shitbird. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy uh, on second thought never mind that's only gonna make you hungrier here you go about all we got what about you go for it We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Need water too. some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. What are you doing? AJ, stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there.
What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Check the, check windows. the windows. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Beans! <gasps> Homemade. Might be more where this came from. They ate well for their last meal. <laughs> it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. This opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they ask to be left alone. So what's best? AJ, I need your help on this one. In there? We need to know if there's food inside. And I need you to be brave. Okay, I can be brave. Lift me up. Once you're through, unlock this door. Got it. AJ! 
You gotta see this, Clem. <sighs> Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. There's a lot of bad people, AJ. Be careful what you wish for. There must be good ones, too. We're good. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Never, Never hesitate. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! AJ! to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path.
AJ. Uh, uh, uh. What is this place? Shit. Hell am I? will do. Don't move. Stay where you are. Don't turn around. Put down the knife. How about you do the same? We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. <laughs> I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Your turn. See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. 
He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You gotta take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there, for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what? Hey, don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. But that one would have been up there. Uh... Hi there. What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave, they die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon? Hmm. 
nope. Music sounds like it's coming from this floor. See where you learned it from. Maybe you'll have something to say when it's your arm getting bit. you were I'm okay and you know what you are what ticklish <laughs> but AJ listen to me that girl out there says you bit her is that true answer me AJ did you bite her I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. He's not my kid, and I'm not his mom. Shit, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Please don't be mad. Wouldn't want to meet Ruby's fate. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Louis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Um... Double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. <sighs> Stop. Now. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one, and this one. <laughs> you 
You're a natural. Hey! Have you seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> hate to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's gotta be some explanation. Are you insinuating something? You know, just speculating. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Wait, let me help. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. So keep a lookout. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on, we'll meet him halfway. Timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Piece of shit. I hate this cleanup bullshit.
Good girl. Shh, shh. Hey, hey. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. I'm fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, a sim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. You did a good job out there too, Lewis. You're too kind. And accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap, schmap. She's just speaking the gods honest. So am I. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's for you. <sighs> AJ! <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> Getting back to the goddamn wall, huh? I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people into... No one expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. So, we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do... They'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Mmm, yes. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Uh-uh-uh. Not yet. You can't rush perfection. 
Come on, AJ. Let's go make friends. Okay. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah. Wanna talk to her? You mean... say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta start with a joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. Yes? Knock, knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Um, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. I did it! You sure did. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. Finish that sentence, AJ. Saved my life. I F-worded up and looked like a fool. Not cool. I just... I write mistakes down so they won't happen again. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. No. Let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. 
I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Hey, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earned your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh. Buddy, I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard, both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! 
Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. Never. Not even once? Never. Ha, uh, I win. So... Clem. You can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask him. It. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That... Sounds like a rough day. Yeah. Worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay? We can talk about it. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too.
Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Do you mind us being here? In their room? Nah. It's... it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad it's getting some use instead of just sitting around picking up dust. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro-town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay. Here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? That door is really sturdy, trust me. I tried to get out earlier today, it wasn't easy. 
Oh, I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Hmm. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's in here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. You already know what happened to them. They weren't strong enough. No, that's not true. They were super strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Clem, please. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> Marlon? <sighs> Stay back. Said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. 
Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clint care of these kids it's not easy I'm worried that if I don't figure something out if if I don't fix our food situation I can't lose anyone else we've already lost so much friends siblings I, I can't let another kid die it could break us I get it I know how it feels to lose a friend yeah well multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel <gasps> what huh Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well... Sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. 
Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we could stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Is he always like this? Like this? You mean awesome? <laughs> Unfortunately. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. You a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. I saw some others run this way. Definitely nailed the thing. Clem! Clem, come here! Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why do you get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? 
I can't watch. Bye, Bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? We're gonna be eating lean tonight. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, come on. <sighs> It's just a panic attack. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. 
Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Could climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another word that comes to mind. Charismatic. See what I mean? I think she pretty much sums it up. Ouch. All right. I see how it is. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! a second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. These will be perfect. Clem, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming.
Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? I count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking maybe more? You got a camp in these here woods? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. Well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide-and-seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. to me. Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! 
Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <clears throat> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too, but it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. I don't think there's anything after we die. Just darkness. There might be. You don't know. Nobody knows. But if there is, I think it'd be like this. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there, too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this, too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there, too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? 
Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh! <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good. For now, but places change, and so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe.
farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. another entrance to the basement around here. talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Rhodey! Don't listen to her, Clint. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Let her speak, asshole. Uh, excuse me? I want to hear what she has to say. How do you know that guy? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! Hmm. Uh, what'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You gotta be okay. I, pr I promise. God damn it! Help! told you not to say it! Please be okay. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? You and H.A. Bo. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, 
He gets angry. Don't worry about that now. Just, just try not to move. You're a good person, Clem. I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make them go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell am I gonna do? Force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. work. now hey Marlin you might want to get your story straight Clem you killed Brody you hit her so hard her head split open that's a lie 
I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clark, what did you do? when they come knocking. What the hell is she talking about? You won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Raiders? Oh my god. Oh, shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? Can help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what did Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer. Once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came, he would have abandoned you too. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! Pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone. Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean we shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> he didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. 
the Nerva! She didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. You... don't. What? I didn't hesitate. 